Hi Fudgies and welcome back to The Family Fudge. A few weeks ago I shared five super clever lunch packing hacks. And if you didn't get a chance to watch that video, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. But today I'm back with five more hacks for you, starting with hack number one. For this hack, you start by making your lunch like you normally would, but before you put it in the lunch box, you take one extra step and that's wrapping each food item like a present. This hack is perfect for a special occasion lunch, something like a birthday, an anniversary, or even April Fool's Day. This is such a fun surprise, especially for kids. This hack is super easy, really special, and if you get your wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree, it doesn't have to cost a lot. That brings me to hack number two. Now it's easy to make special lunches when you have lots of cutters and embellishments and tools to make the food look cool. But there are ways to make really fun lunches without all of those extras. For instance, you can take foods like cherry tomatoes, grapes, and even mini hot dogs. And when you slice them diagonally down the center and then flip one piece around, you can create a really cute heart shape. And all you have to do is stick a toothpick in it to keep the heart together. And there you have it, a really cute addition to any lunchbox. Now let's say you wanna make a special sandwich, but you don't have any special cutters. All you really need is a drinking glass. You can make your own uncrustable sandwich in no time. Another really fun but easy idea is to take one piece of bread, you're going to trim off the crusts, then you're gonna take a rolling pin to flatten out the bread just a bit. And if you don't have a rolling pin, you can try using a water bottle. Next, you're gonna add your filling, just a thin layer here, and then you're going to roll it up. Now cut this in a few pieces and you have really cute and easy sandwich sushi. Now just add these to a skewer and say bye bye to the boring PB&J. My next hack is an easy way to get more fruits and veggies in your lunch. And that is to make a smoothie. Of course, you can add anything you want in here. For this example, I'm just using some frozen peaches, some vanilla yogurt, and some almond milk. I'm gonna blend that up. And then here's the tip. You need to put it in a freezer safe container with a leak-proof lid. I'm using some ball containers. These are meant for freezer jam. Now just pop these in the freezer until you're ready to make your lunch. In the morning, you can add this to your lunchbox, and by lunchtime, it should be pretty thawed out. To make Smoothie Day extra special, I like to add a fun straw. Another fun addition to lunchboxes is a good old note from mom or dad. And you can actually print out or buy pre-made notes. But if you're in a hurry, this is a good hack for you. Go ahead and write your note on the food itself. Just take a banana and gently carve your message into the side of the banana. You're not going all the way through the peel though. You can go ahead and stick this in the lunchbox and by lunchtime your message will appear. My next hack is all about making lunch planning easy and fun. And you can do that by creating your own menu, just like the one I have here. I've divided my menu into six different categories. My main course, a fruit, a vegetable, a snack or a side, a treat, and a drink. And then I sat down with my kids and we filled in each section together. Now, this lunch planning menu is available for free download on thefamilyfudge.com, but I realized that our lunch choices might not be the same for you and your family. So I've just created a blank version that you can also print out for free on thefamilyfudge.com. That way you can fill out each section to your family's tastes. This makes lunch planning a breeze and it also makes it really easy to create a shopping list. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed these hacks today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.